Hey, what is up, cuties and friends? Hello! Welcome back to episode 3. We're doing more missions today. We're continuing to work on that and uh, moving forward with that. Hey, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching the videos. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. If you guys are, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. And if you missed the first two episodes, I think we've done a total now of six missions. If you guys missed those at all, go back and watch it, man. It's a lot of fun. The missions themselves are fun, and I think uh, I think... We've done a really good job of like showcasing them and stuff like that. We just found a gun, a shotgun, and, a, and some kind of lockbox. So the hope is we're somehow going to unlock that or figure something out. So that's the goal. We're going to continue on with that. But we're going to get right into the mission here. We just fast traveled over to this location. And it looks like we're supposed to do some scouting. Let's check the mission real quick. Abandoned memories. Reach Bosque Alto. Uh, okay. Look for anything suspicious in the hills. Enter the shack. Inspect the desk. So I'm guessing I'm just going to make a, a a bona fide suggestion in here. A, a suggestion. It's when you have a suggestion and a guess, guess suggestion. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do one of those and say we're probably looking for a shack. So let's go find the shack and not Shaquille O'Neal, but the next best thing. So let's go through the mountains here, I guess. <laughs> Some random spot. Okay, so we're looking for anything interesting in here. So we're supposed to, it said get up in the mountains and and, uh, and scout is what he just told me right before I started recording. Um, make sure I'm recording. Imagine, imagine I go through all this and I'm not recording. That's one fear. Um, if any of you guys have ever made videos or I'm just letting you guys in on a little bit of something. If you guys, uh, ooh, I thought I saw something over there. If you guys, um, like, ever wanted to know the insider of a, of a YouTuber's brain, it's the fear that something is wrong. Your audio is not picking up. Your video is dumb. Imagine I left myself like this as I'm playing. I'm running around like this. There's things like that that you just fear. You're like, please, please. It's like the Michael Scott, like, office meme where he's like, no. God, please, no, no. It's the exact same thing. That's what it feels like it constantly. And you're like, okay, I'm good. Good there. Good there. How am I? Okay, I'm centered. I'm good. Uh, Okay. It's one of those things, man. It's just funny how it works. That's just how life works in general. But uh, if you guys ever wanted an unwarranted and unwanted and unsolicited view into a YouTuber's mind, there you go. There it is. There it is. Okay, so we're looking for Shaquille O'Neal throughout here somewhere. Some kind of shack. It makes me think of the shack this miles back. Go fish. Even though I know it's not that. I'm going to get... I just got DMCA, man. Just because I had that part in there. Now it's all gone. Now it's all gone. Dang it. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can't find the shack somewhere. I'll try to look too. Maybe we got some animals in here on their zones. I Is there a certain place I'm supposed to be going before I just aimlessly walk around? I don't think so. I'm just looking for something. I'm not seeing the shack, though. I'm assuming... I'm just going to make a suggestion or whatever I said earlier. I'm going to make a suggested guess or whatever. Or whatever. I'm, I'm going to assume that I passed it. I'm going to assume that I don't need to cross and go all the way around like as if I'm hunting. Um, I probably missed it somewhere simple. So we'll go this way. Because there's more hills this way. It makes a little bit more sense in my brain. Um, and imagine I was so close to it and I just turned around. If that's the case, uh, well, we're skipping through all this. But <laughs> probably not. So we'll see. There is the lookout tower. I don't think it's got to be anything over there. He told me to go to the mountains. Uh, we're still in. So let's keep going around. I guess this way is closer to the outpost regardless. So this might be the better direction anyway, because if it's anything di directly like related to being over there, um, then that's probably the play. Sometimes you hear footsteps in this game and you just get nervous because you know that if an animal just comes and like tackles you like you're playing football, you're just dead. It's just what happens. But sometimes they spook and the animal AI is so funny because they'll just like decide, oh, hey, I'm, I'm a little scared, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and decimate you. Like, instead of just running away, I'm just going to run into you. Sometimes it's how it happens. You just, you never fully know. But let's just keep on searching. Um, I'm go not going to skip forward unless I made a big mistake in the beginning, but I don't think I did. But I'm not going to skip forward for the intention of, um... No luck yet? There's 
a lookout tower nearby that'll give you a good view out onto Bosque Alto. I'll send you the coordinates. I knew it, dude. I was gonna say, I feel like it's part of the mission to search around for a while, and I didn't want to. I didn't want to skip forward and ruin the experience for you. Plus, how often do we get to spend unwarranted amounts of time just talking to each other? Even though I'm literally just talking to myself in a room, but I do this all the time on my Twitch stream. The link is going to be down in the description below. We've played a lot of games like this on Twitch. We do a lot of variety. Um, but if you guys are ever interested, man, come by. This is the best experience. Here, it's all not like necessarily scripted on this part, but I do a lot of scripted videos and stuff like that for YouTube. It's a lot more professional, a lot more intentional. The Twitch stream, man, is one of the best places to just come and hang out. Um, I've actually met some of you guys already from YouTube that are subscribed and come over and, and hung out with us in the Twitch stream, and it's awesome, man. So make sure you guys check that out if you guys want to. Um, if you guys are interested in live content, I stream mostly mornings, um, at least right now, currently, with my schedule at the time of this video coming out. But you never know. Sometimes it all changes. Um, but I've just been enjoying the crap out of it. But this game, man, this game is one of those things where I I, I played, like, I think I put in on this account 250 hours Something like that. Probably more than that now. Because we played it for the past like four or five days. But uh, I put a lot of hours in this game. And it's just like, you cannot go wrong. There's just something so like tranquil and peaceful about hunting. And like stalking and looking for animals and doing that kind of stuff. But there's just something so chill and perfect about like this type of game. It's, it's phenomenal. By the lake. A shack. How am I supposed to see that? Where? I know he marked it for me, but how am I supposed to see that? Here, let me climb up on your counter here, buddy. What? Okay, hold on. I still can't see the shack. What the heck? Okay, so it is part of the mission to just search around. Okay, imagine I had went the other way. Imagine I went the other way, and he tells me to come back over here, so then I circle all the way back around, and then I still have to go out all this way. If that, I'm, I'm already frustrated just thinking about it. I haven't even had to do it. I haven't even had to do it. Uh, but I this this lake is actually really cool. I got a lot of whitetail here. Um, I hit a I hit some pretty rough shots <laughs> on this. Wait, this isn't the same one. No, that's great. Never mind. I haven't done a lot of hunting here yet, then yet. Okay, let's not break our legs. Good job. Good job. One thing I do love about being on the PC version of Hunter Call of the Wild is I love the auto run feature. I love that I can just do this. I can just chill. I don't have to keep my my hand on the keyboard. I can pop my fingers and do whatever I got to do. I love that part. So we're going to travel over this way and see actually on the way if we can find any animals. I'm more than down to take one quick second for a hot little hunt here. But we'll see. We will see. I haven't seen anything or heard anything yet besides that one white tail behind us. But I preferably don't want to shoot something behind us and then have to run all the way back. I'd prefer to shoot something in front of us and then run all the way forward, you know? I'm not seeing anything yet. There is, There are some really big perks of once you play this game for long enough and you've unlocked your skill points and all that stuff. Like having the binoculars like this are so nice. I tried a little bit on a fresh account um, so I could work on some stuff for you guys for like tutorial content for a beginner's guide and stuff like that i worked on i started playing around with that a little bit on uh on a fresh account and man it's just so much different the weapon sway is so much different it it sucks having to go back to an old old scope that's not as big and not like you can't see as far with it um going back to the old binoculars that don't have the meters on them automatically not being able to change the the shooting zone of your rifle, like the whole entire nine yards of that. Um, it's hard to miss out on all that. So I understand if you're starting out, this game can be a little bit more challenging. But I'm just telling you, this game just gets better and better and better and better. And it's just so fun. So I hope if you guys are playing it, uh, if you've been playing it for 500 hours or five hours, I hope you guys are enjoying the crap out of it. Um, and if you guys haven't gotten any of the DLC maps, make sure you guys get those, man. They're freaking awesome. I love the DLC maps. They're like... They just add so much new. They just add so much new content to the game. Is that you? I doubt it. Maybe. <sighs> Maybe. I don't want to embarrass myself anymore by trying to shoot things out of the air. That's that's not my goal. <laughs> Since I've already been embarrassing myself so much earlier. 
if you guys haven't seen the other episodes, I've had multiple instances where I've tried to shoot pheasants or different animals and have not succeeded. Um, there's sometimes I do, but majority of the time I haven't, which granted I've had times where I popped off on stream where I hit like six in a row. <laughs> okay. Okay. Where I've hit like six in a row. Oh, I was going to say, Oh, that one looks pretty good. This one over here. That one back there. Oh, he's got some big old horns on him. Antlers. It's not horns. It's antlers. Oh my gosh. Who am I? I'm not a hunter, but I enjoy the crap out of this game. That guy back there is pretty big, man. I'm going to try to get an angle on him. I might try to call them over. Maybe I was trying to see if there's anybody else too. But that guy's big. I want to spot him, but I won't be able to until I get around these guys. You're not seeing me, right? Cause that's a two. And this other one feels like it's going to be a bigger, a bigger buck. I will miss, I will mess up a lot of hunting terms. Just letting you guys know that is just me sadly, because I'm not a hunter. I'm not. So I will mess up a lot of um, hunting terms. I will probably say horns when I should say antlers. I will probably say wolves when I should say wolves. Um, different things like that. I've, I've done a pretty good job of messing some of that up. And streams told me. Oh, I, I marked it for a split second. And stream has corrected me a lot of times. But I, I love this game as a hunting game on its own. It's just been a ton of fun. Okay. I mean, he's big still. Let me see if I can get a hard shot. If you guys haven't checked out my hard shot tutorial, I'll post it right up above me right here. A uh, hard shot tutorial if you guys are trying to learn. And then imagine I say that and I don't hit a hard shot. <laughs> we'll see here. Let's see if I can get around in front of this guy enough without spooking him because I'm actually really close to spooking them in terms of range. But we're almost there. We're almost there. I, I mean, I know this guy isn't a diamond, but it is nice to see a big, a big level two. Let the other one put his head down. Let the other one put his head down. You guys ready for this? Heart shot, maybe? Hey, put in the comments below if you guys think I'll be able to hit this. If it be right now, hold on, real quick. Pause the video. I need you to go down to the comments. I need you to say, uh, yes, he hits the hard shot, or yes, he will hit the hard shot, or no, he won't. And then right after you see me hit it, because I'm going to definitely hit it. Come on, dude. Right after you see me hit it, okay, um, I need you to go comment down below and say, told you so, okay? That's what I need from you. Here we go. Let him put his head back down. Let me see if I can spot him. Let me put, let him put his head back down. And then we need to let the other one put its head down and then him put his head up. Mother, father, son of a biscuit. Maybe. Let's see. Hold on. They're like in sync and not even the band. It's going to be rough. Put head back down. They're not smelling me, so. It's taking way too long. I'm so sorry. But this gave you good time to go down to the comments. And you're reading other comments that are saying, told you so right now. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Living Wasteland has done it yet again. He has hit a shot on a nice, beautiful level two buck of the white-tailed deer. And what do you got to say for yourself, Daniel? I just want to thank my mom and my dad and my beautiful wife who allows me to do this. And I just want to let you guys know I feel God at this chilies. Let's go get him, baby. I if it wasn't a hard shot and I just did all those all those things and it wasn't a hard shot, I might cry a little bit. But it was. I mean, come on. How are you gonna drop a deer right on the spot and make him call you Papa? Now I can see. Now I can see the thing. Oh, hello. You might end up getting another. That's a good two there too. What is this one? That's another good two there as well. This one's even better. This is the spot, chat, right here. I'm saying chat. I'm sorry. I'm so used to streaming. Um, right here in the middle, this is a great, a great freaking whitetail deer location. Just FYI. Just want to throw it out there for you guys. It seems to be a great location for whitetails. All right. Let's check this one out. Let's check it real fast. Let's see. A beautiful rack on there. Rack, antlers, horns, antlers. Beautiful. Look at it. Oh, those are kind of thick, actually. Those are kind of thick. Gold, 213. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Heart shot, baby. Not only did I hit the heart, I hit double lung all from the front. Easy game. Let's go. That's awesome. What a good-looking guy. All right, continuing on. This has already gone on way too long, than it, way longer than it should have. 
but that's okay. That's part of experiencing the missions and experiencing this game is, is sometimes you just run into some awesome experiences like that. More rabbits, huh? I might try to hit one of these guys. <gasps> oh my gosh. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Do you see what I'm seeing? This just turned into the video. The video of the century. I got to not get too close because the dialogue is going to start here. I'm going to hit I'm gonna hit a vital shot here. And then what we'll do is as we do this part of the mission here, um, these guys should come back. But look at that. Wow. That's beautiful. 207 meters. Should be a pretty simple shot. I hear more whitetail right next to me again. They're coming back. Or maybe they're getting spooked. Wow, dude. Okay. Woo! Okay, we'll let those other guys come back. I almost messed that up. My my uh, mouse almost hit my keyboard. I felt it hit right after I took this shot. That would have been so bad. But we'll go pick that up in one second. I think it's called a piebald, right? Shows to know, shows goes to show how much you know when you don't know. Actually, what we're gonna do before we go here, just in case there's any timer to make it despawn. I don't think there is, but I don't want to mess up anything with the mission. Be careful. Be careful. I'm gonna run and grab this real fast, and then we'll be right back. I'm gonna show you guys it over there, and then we'll come right back over here. I just want to make sure we don't somehow lose this because I would love to have it. That's awesome, dude. What a what a great find. And there was another pretty good sized male over here too. Um, I think it's you, right? No, you're definitely not that one. <laughs> uh, where are you at? Look at this, bro. Look at this. Wow. Let's check it out. What a beautiful, I'm pretty sure it's piebald. Wow, look at it, dude. That is what I like to call white-tailed deer. Look at that. Yeah, let's check it out. It is a piebald. Of course, it's a female, but look, it's beautiful. I ended up hitting a pretty decent shot there. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I thought I was going to mess up on it, but it actually ended up being really good. But look at it. It's beautiful. I'm going to taxidermy that for sure. Do you guys say taxidermy or taxidermize? What would be what would be what you would say there? All right, let's go back over. I thought I saw one of the other deer. Let's go back over to the shack. It's actually not that far of a run. I thought it was going to be further, but I wanted to make sure I didn't uh, lose that deer by... Um, by somehow continuing the mission and then you guys got to see it right but i wanted to get you, i wanted to let you guys see it uh close and all that stuff so we're gonna come in here on this part it's actually been freaking awesome that was so cool a cool rare find to get we got a heart shot another uh white-tailed deer buck that was beautiful okay i'm supposed to be able to go inside here is there a picture someone must have rested here at some stage but there's nothing to suggest they bunkered down what try the desk there okay hold on let's see if i have any optionals no Okay. Interact. What do you to find out in the middle of nowhere? Oof. I'm amazed it's not completely faded. I should have looked at the photo before. So I think you can look at it I'm in here. I'm pretty sure the guy on the right is Bisabuelo Javier. Even How do you see it? The head, the suits are dead Codex. And his uh, younger friend must be Rancho de Arroyo. The date is landmarks? The one in the shotgun, at least. No, not landmarks. Weirdly familiar. No. Nope. I feel like I've seen him somewhere before. I thought maybe, maybe you'd be able to Let's find it. I'm pretty sure you can. I'm pretty sure you can. Old photos and newspaper clippings in Javier's study. Maybe we'll find something that jogs my memory. Maybe we will find something that jogs memory. Form looks like the one around where they used to water the cattle back when open grazing was still practiced. It's along the arroyo. But the I'm arroyo. Sure where exactly? Okay. And I don't recognize the shrine. Nice. Okay. Take the photo with you, and we can try matching it to your surroundings. Perfect. That's going to be a lot of fun. So let's see where we're supposed to go next. We got ten fifty for that. I love getting that much money on on these missions. Oh, by the way, uh -huh. I got a call from the lab while you were wandering around Bosque Alto. Uh huh. What kind of animal blood is it? As I suspected, the blood samples didn't turn up any DNA. Nah, it was always going to be a long shot. If you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> How is that a pun? Because it's a shotgun. How are you going to make a long shot? I sent the shotgun itself to a gunsmith to retrofit and reassemble. Ooh. I want you to have it. Thank you. You didn't have to go out of your way to help solve this mystery <laughs> that has nothing to do with you. <laughs> I, I'm, you only, I'm only laughing because he's going to say, know, I, know I want you to have it for 45000 use a dead man's weapon, but uh, look, we're conservationists. Ways not want not should guide us. Should guide us. I agree. I doubt R.S. would mind whoever he was. R.S. I'm excited Unless to figure out who that is. In here. Up in a museum. No, absolutely not. 
Absolutely not. Okay. Didn't think so. I've asked my cousin to leave it at an outpost. I'll mark on your hunter mate. Ooh, is that the next part? I thought we were doing a next mission already. Target practice. Pick up the shotgun at the outpost. Ooh, I thought so. We we're done with that. Okay. Uh, what are we looking at here? We will probably end this episode here. I wanted to keep the the um episodes a little bit shorter for you guys. We only finished one mission, so I think going forward, uh, the first missions that you end up going through on this game are uh, are a little bit um faster because you're just traveling from place to place. If you did not have stuff already unlocked, it's probably a lot harder. Um, you probably end up having to go more and more from one place to the other. Um, traveling with an ATV, doing stuff like that. But since I have everything unlocked, it's probably a ton faster for me. But now we're getting into some more, um, probably, hopefully, hunting missions um, where we're going to have to find certain things. Hopefully, we're getting into some of that. And it seems like a lot more stuff that's maybe a little more time-consuming, so I'm excited. So that mission there, let's look together. That mission there was, I'm pretty sure, Abandoned Memories is what we played. So we've done seven Three, four, five, six, seven. So we're on mission eight, which is target practice. That's what we're going to be on in the next episode. Hey, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure you guys hit the like button down below. If you guys haven't commented yet, comment something. Say it's a good video or say you didn't like the video or say, hey, nice shot on that pie ball or heart shot tutorial video was awesome, bro, or something of the sort. If you guys want to say something, I'd love that. I All in all, it's all jokes and stuff like that. But I just want to say thank you guys for supporting me so much. If you guys haven't haven't subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe so you guys can see more future videos. If I can speak with my mouth. Hey, if nobody's told you you're cute today, I just want you to know you guys absolutely are. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your morning, evening, night, whenever you're watching this. We'll see you guys in the next one.